So we're getting ready for our wild earth dinner later uh, in the week. Just having a look today at the flying bouton. We looked at the Pinot about a week ago, and this is now the Sauvignon Blanc. Always looking for different takes on Sauvignon Blanc, because you can end up having just too much of the same thing out of the Marlborough fruit. So let's see what this has got to do for itself. Again, we're in the sort of $30 bracket. There's a nice uh, powdery talc, like a talcum powder nose. There's some floral components, lavender. There's a honeysuckle. A lot of the light sort of floral components to it. There might be some traces of gooseberry down the bottom, but it's very certainly not Marlborough in terms of its flavor structure, which is a good thing. Getting more of the gooseberry and capsicum on the palate than you are on the nose. It's definitely there then. So there's, a, there's a texture in this wine which is quite interesting. It's a deeper, denser texture to the fruit, which is quite interesting. Maybe there's been a little bit of barrel ferment or something in there. But at about $30, acid's okay, not brilliant. So it's drinking well now, but at that $30 price bracket, probably okay. Cheers.